What's a harmless thing that terrified you as a child? Helicopters. I remember freaking out and crying if I saw one. They were like sky spiders. Return the slab. Not just that but the whole damn show. Not me, but my daughter she was afraid of balloons. The floating freaked her out. She wasn't afraid of them because of popping. She was especially scared if she saw a balloon that lost some of its helium and that would hover. Whenever the floorboards creaked, I imagined myself or my bed falling through the floor into the basement. Swallowing seeds from fruits. Was teased that they would grow and take over my insides and a tree would eventually burst out of me. Parents told me this too. I believed them. I believed them so thoroughly until I said the same thing to my new college roommate. She told me it was all a lie. I had been bamboozled. Frown. Oompa Loompus. The concept of eternity. I was raised Christian and was terrified of the idea of spending forever in either heaven or hell. Forever sounded scary. I used to sweat at night thinking I was going to hell because I ate the bread and drank the wine before I had my confirmation. BTW the possibility still doesn't hurt you. Not sure what denomination you are slash were raised in, but I was raised Catholic and went to Catholic school and we had our first communion at the age of reason around age 8, generally second grade, and had our confirmation in 8th grade, around 13-14, so you were just fine by Catholic teaching, daddy long legs in camp, ghosts and clowns in the storm drains, claymation, shit still scares the fuck out of me to be honest. Same. I've had nightmares of Gumby but for some reason barely remember watching it. So here are some weird things I was afraid of for literally no reason, and what I did about them, 1. That someone would stab me in the back in the night. I had a big stuffed bear I slept with on my back, his arms tucked under my armpits. He was bagel and his job was to give his life for mine. 2. I was terrified we'd suddenly have to run in the middle of the night, I never knew from what. I kept a go bag under my bag with a change of clothes and underwear and shoes and some books and travel games and such, other than the clothes, everything in the bag was useless. Honestly I don't know why I did these things. No one in my family had ever had to run from anything. No one had ever been attacked. We lived in a safe neighborhood. But they were my greatest fears as a child. Bagel is a hero. The moon. I watched the thriller video and was convinced that staring up at a full moon would turn me into a werewolf. One night every time I closed my eyes, I all I could see is a gorilla with a zip up, and shades on, I slept with my mother and father that night. Spirit of Harambi has blessed you my child. Chucks in the swimming pool. Could be three feet deep and I was still terrified Jaws was just gonna leave only my trunks floating in the water. I still have this if the pool has a deep end. I'm a grown ass adult. Same frown. Turn off the lights to the basement and then running up the stairs. I'm 35 and I still do that. My dad has an issue of making fun of people's appearance and then quickly say I'm just kidding followed by compliments I've realized over the years that this has really fucked with my self esteem. It made me really self conscious and I never really think I look good. And then my dad proceeds to question why I'm always so self-conscious and insecure about myself. That little rope of boys that separated the deep end from the shallow end in the pool. Apparently everything. My mom was always the worst case scenario. No matter what I did it was don't do that, you're going to poke your eye out, you'll crack your head open, and the list goes on. E.T. Still freaks me out. Creepy little fucker. Fuck E.T., the THX sound effect that precluded most movies in the early 2000s. It always scared me as a kid. I listened to it last night and it still makes me uncomfortable. Not sure why. You dropped a bomb on me, by the gap band used to scare the shit out of me as a child and I'll never understand why. For me it was Rhythm Is Gonna Get You by Miami Sound Machine. I had no idea what rhythm was or why it was gonna get me. I pictured it as a big round tomato thing with arms and legs, rancid fangs and sunken black eyes. LOL. Old televisions right after you turned them off, they would glow for a bit. 
that's when the monsters could come out of the TV and get you, quicksand. It's 2020, I think quicksand is a legit concern for me at this point. Jack. Russell. Terriers. Porcelain dolls. I'm 27 now and still terrified lol. It's the cold, dead stare. Those gives me the creeps. Not weird at all. Escalators scared the shit out of me. Trying desperately to fit within a rectangle before it becomes a step, jumping off of them at the end to avoid being sucked down into oblivion. And there was one or two anecdotal stories from the news to convince me that they were, in fact, killers. Lawn flamingos. My big sister told me that they could take your soul if you looked into their eyes so I'd run past them with my eyes covered. Broat. The sound of the toilet flush. I would wash my hands first then flush and run out of the bathroom. I was afraid of flushing the toilet too. T. Could not sleep with my closet door open. I saw way too many movies with scary things in the closet, so I figured a shut door guaranteed my safety. I was a weird kid. Yes. Also letting your arm or leg hang over the bed. You just knew something was going to grab it. Danny DeVito, nobody knows where it came from, my guess is Matilda. Lol I just watched this movie. One of my favorites.